Hey guys, welcome back. We just finished going over the CREB 2022 market forecast for Calgary and area and wanted to share some of our findings for you for what's about to happen in the market this year in 2022. Yeah, before we get into 2022, uh, let's do a quick review of what happened in 2021. So sales finished the year up 71% year over year, so our best year on record. Uh, we finished with 27,686 sales across the Calgary Real Estate Board. Uh, the months of supply was at 2.3, so that was down 46% year over year, and that's kind of led us into uh, the not really say the challenges, but certainly where we're at now with 2022 with prices accelerating as quickly as they are. The craziness of it. So usually we say a balanced market is three to four months and now in detached homes alone, sorry, three to four months of supply. And now in detached homes, we are actually under one month of supply. So that is why we're seeing houses go for so quick and for so much more than ask currently because there's just no listings on the market. Yeah. We're gonna take a little bit of a look at what is gonna be happening in 2022, why the market is the way it is currently and how long it can stay that way. Yeah, so as most of you'll know, if you're paying attention to the news or have talked to anybody, um, the Calgary real estate market has kind of gone bananas in the last four to six weeks. And like Nathaniel said, we're getting lots of calls because people are going, what is happening? We're seeing for the first time in probably five, six years, we're starting to see you know competing offers and homes going well above list you know we're talking 60 70 80 100 thousand dollars over list which we haven't seen for a long time so um one of the things that came out of our forecast meeting today was yes the inventory is exceptionally low like nathaniel said it's less than a month for single family detached and that's really what's driving the market right now and there's that fomo people are afraid of interest rates going up lending rates changing um, inflation a number of different contributing factors and that is what's pushing the market at the moment so for those of you wondering is the market going to continue like this Yes, at least for the first half of 2022 as we regain more and more inventory. Now, that being said, if more inventory does not come on the market, that means if more listings do not start popping up throughout the year, then we will see house prices continue to increase and it will stay in similar market conditions. However, we do expect to see more and more listings come on, and especially when people see that you're, they're getting so much more than they want to list their house, and we should see some more listings come on. However, they did preface by saying, if they don't, then we will see larger price increases in homes. Yeah, so we've seen a steady price increase. Um, our expectation is for at least the first, I mean, traditionally January, February, and March, the first quarter is a slow uh, in terms of new listings. And as we get into the second quarter, we start to see more listings come on. If we do see a, call it a flood, or if we see more listings come on, that will help with the, uh, the supply issue. And we'll probably take out a little bit of that um, frothiness in the market at the moment uh, but right now what we're seeing is there's a lot a lot of people looking to buy uh, and just not enough inventory so expectations are the first half of this year is going to be well 2022 is going to stay a seller's market we're going to stay in firmly in that seller's market uh, range some of that could slow down a little bit in the second half of the year when you mix in interest rate hikes um, you know inflation we've got any number of, of other contributing factors, employment, that type of thing. But the expectation is the first part of this year is going to be pretty much the way it is right now. So what does that mean for sellers? If you're a seller, you can expect if you list at the correct price, I will say that because there are plenty of listings that have been sitting because they are priced way too high. Consumers are not dumb. They know what stuff <laughs> is going to be selling for, what it should be selling for. Lots of people think that when it gets crazy like this, they can sell their home for whatever. However, it's not very true. You can actually see a lot of the homes that sit for a long time are clearly overpriced. So if you're priced correctly from the start, you got beautiful photos, good marketing plan, you can expect to sell quick for a lot of money, hopefully over asking price. And if you're a buyer, what you can expect is you're gonna see a lot more competition for these because everyone's trying to get in there as soon as possible before interest rates start rising. And there's just so many buyers right now. So you can expect the horrible two words competing offers and you can expect a lot of interest and competition when looking to buy a place yeah so good news if you are a seller um you're probably going to see better price appreciation than you were expecting we are expecting uh calgary real estate board is expecting to see sales 
come down from last year's uh, record pace by about 7%, which we're still going to be in fantastic uh, range. We're probably looking around kind of, if you remember what the market was like in 2014 here, it's going to be similar to that. So also uh, the Crub Calgary Real Estate Board is expecting a 4% increase in price over the year, a little bit over four. However, just like I said before, if more listings do not come on the market, it will be a greater percentage. Yeah. So if you are a seller and you're thinking, hey, 2022 looks to be the year I want to sell, give us a call to talk or talk to another realtor to find out about timing because really I would say first half of this year would be the time that you'd want to look uh, because you're probably going to get a quicker sale, better price, and, and uh, maybe less conditions as well with that sale than you will near the end of this year. Yeah, and if you're a buyer, definitely feel free to reach out to us, see what we're thinking. It also totally depends what neighborhood you're looking in, what area, because that changes all the dynamics of what is going to be expected when you're buying a home. So feel free to reach out to us with any of your questions of if you're looking at purchasing or selling real estate in 2022, and we'll be able to help guide you through your real estate journey. Absolutely. So if you want to see the full 2022 crab market forecast slides, then please take a look down below. I've put a link there where you can go onto our website and download the entire forecast for free directly in your inbox. You can take a look at it. It's got a lot more in-depth information that we don't have time to get into. And that is that. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out yep. to us. We're always happy to talk real estate. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.